Here is my collection of uh, textbooks to learn Egyptian colloquial Arabic. These are the books that I collected recently and I want to give you a quick overview of them, how I like them and what you can expect from them when you are interested in learning Egyptian colloquial Arabic. So the number one, let me start right away, is uh, Manfred Voidich or Voidich and this is called Kulu Tamam, an introduction to Egyptian colloquial Arabic and then this book is in my opinion far the best. What I have is a dedicated separate video where I give you detailed review of this book. But what is important to me in this book that the grammar sections in this book are especially excellent. So if you really want a decent, accurate, very detailed explanation of the phonetic rules and the grammar points, for Egyptian Arabic, this is a book for you. So the book has dialogues and it has an accompanying audio files on SoundCloud and the audio quality is really excellent. So the dialogues has this phonetic transcript and this phonetic transcript is precise, exactly what you can here on the audio uh, examples and then the book also has uh, exercises for each of the uh, lessons i think these exercises are decent and very useful and what is important that you will have the keys to the exercises at the end of the book which is in my opinion for self learners is a must and it's really excellent. The book also has an index. So if you are interested in a special grammatical term, then just uh, you can look it up and then you will find uh, which uh, page you can have a detailed explanation for the that specific um, grammatical uh, term. Uh, what else? What is also important that lesson 17 is about Arabic script. So the book it doesn't have any Arabic text. So this is the idea, the main concept of this book to teach you Egyptian Arabic as a colloquial, as a spoken language. So that's why it focuses on a transcript, phonetically correct transcript of the audio files. However, for lesson 17, it has an introduction to the Arabic uh, alphabet, of course, and then it uh, actually it contains the Arabic script. So, but this is not the main focus of the book. At the end of the book, of course, you will be able, if you master this chapter 17, lesson 17, definitely you will be able to read and maybe write too. But this is not to teach you writing Arabic, but to read. And the book also has a glossary, and that glossary is quite excellent. I mean, it's, uh, it's really useful. It's very decent. It's not a full dictionary of the whole Egyptian Arabic language, but the best glossary. Actually, this has the best glossary of all the books I have. So this is the must. So start with this one. You will not be disappointed. The other book, which is Number two in my list is the Colloquial Arabic of Egypt uh, by Jane Whitewick. And this book has very nice, very nice book. It follows also the concept of the uh, phonetic transcript. But the phonetic transcript is, this book is, is quite lousy. I wouldn't say it's, 
it's not not that accurate so you have to listen quite carefully the Mm, the audio and so this audio transcript which is the provided in this book is far far from as accurate and this this book has brilliantly excellent transcript phonetically correct transcript this has a phonetic transcript which is more or like the same as the audio files so this book uh, is from the audio for this files are available from routledge website and then the the quality of the auto is really excellent too uh, it's a bit weird because the um, text in the audio has a hell lot of in my opinion too much English text so what I am doing what I have done is that I downloaded this mp3 files and uh, using my editor I removed the English parts and then combined my own a version of these audio files which contains only the Arabic Arabic speech Arabic talk this book again I gave a detailed introduction and it it's really decent and fun a number of the lessons here are really fun to uh, fun to read another Im important point that the book eager even from the very first lesson starts teaching you Arabic script and then it really doesn't want to teach you how to write but definitely it has an emphasis on teaching you how the Arabic alphabet of course this has also keys to the exercises which is again excellent and what is interesting that it has also a section where the dialogues uh, will have an Arabic script version of all or most of the audio dialogues. This book, the Kulu Tamam, doesn't have such a section. So in this regard, if uh, Arabic script is a major concern for you, maybe this book is... Um, is better for you the it has also grammar quite decent grammar but of course this is again a lot less detailed than Kulu Kulu Taman's grammar is brilliant and 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 comprehensive this has very useful grammar sections of course but far as decent far as extensive as a Kulu Tamam but very useful and the it has also glossaries and these glossaries are are yeah mm, very lousy so not all the words can be found here very important words are simply missing so i would say that these gloss the unfortunate glossary in these books are pretty useless pretty useless and disappointing yeah okay so this was uh, but but anyway it's a, it is this is a keeper so definitely after kulu tamam this is the second uh, best book let's review that kalimni arabi bishwish ha this was a total disappointment it doesn't have a single section on arabic the phonetic transcript is totally lousy and it doesn't teach you anything uh, in, in Arabic. It has a lot of Arabic, but it doesn't teach you the Arabic alphabet. The sound audio accompanying this book is excellent. So this book is very useful when you have, say, this book or this book. So as an accompanying. So Kulu Tamam gives you a decent explanation of the grammar and then Next, then if you need more audio, this is quite an inexpensive. Just use them as an additional source for, for, uh, for, for additional audio. But otherwise, this uh, to be used as a number one Egyptian Arabic book is <laughs> it's a big no, no, no. It's a total disappointment. But because this is very inexpensive, 
then of course for for audio extra audio this you could use i also have the kalam gamil which has a very great section in the first section about the phonetic rules and uh, some of the sections are really decent but again this is an arabic only text it doesn't teach you at all the arabic alphabets so this book is only useful when you know how to read arabic it it has almost zero a transcript but the audio again coming along with this on sound cloud sound cloud here sound cloud here and kulutamam sound cloud so these books has the audio on sound cloud uh, this book has grammar sections um, and which seems to be okayish but <laughs> again nothing can it doesn't come even close to the kulutamam quality and of course it has zero keys to the exercises so this is just a typical how to say low quality a uh, low quality book and uh, but again the audio quality the audio coming along with this is quite okay so you can use this book but this is an expensive book so i wouldn't buy this book again this uh, in my opinion that's not and then comes additional two interesting books let's start with this one the egyptian arabic easy stories and this book is stories with translation it doesn't have yes it has no uh, phonetic transcript the book however has very nice easy to read prints and it has basic vocabulary so definitely this could be a very interesting and very useful to read and the back page says that uh, the audio for these stories and much more is available to listen to this uh, talkinarabic.com but so far i wasn't able to find any audio for this book and then comes to one of my favorite author uh, definitely matthew alrich just visit his um, website it's absolutely a brilliant source so this is the this is called lingualism please visit lingualism and then for example this book has the conjugation tables sample uh, sentences and then at the same time all are available for audio so all of the audio are accompanying for each of the book from um, Matthew Aldrich and lingualism so definitely this is the number one source for additional additional learning material this book is excellent i've already bo bought a number of books most of them are in electronic version this one because i want it i love paper i love paper books because this is eternal so you know when you buy a book for learning a language it doesn't expire so this book will be very useful even in 50 years or so and that book the quality and all the accompanying material are really excellent and brilliant so this is a uh, highly recommended so anything coming from Matthew Aldrich is excellent so that's why i'd love to show you uh, one more that here is for example a book books in egyptian arabic are also available this is an electronic book and i printed the first couple of pages are also available from uh, now nah, this is the it is called egyptian arabic reader this is again from the lingualism website and yes this is for example the book like looking in a mirror and this is the english translation and here 
is the Arabic uh, text. And then there is an audio for these books. So therefore, when you are hesitating, if you go for these easy stories, this is not an inexpensive book, not too expensive, but, but these booklets, e-books, are excellent because the audio is brilliant and available, and these are in the quality of the Aldrich books. So just keep this in mind. So thank you very much for your attention. Kulutemam, highly recommended. And then this book, the Colloquial Arabic of Egypt by James Way is again a decent book. And of course, the lingualism books are absolutely excellent.